stop it with the pumpkin spice everything already. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, Vic DiPetetto here. You know, folks, when pumpkin spice first became a fall thing and a few products came out with pumpkin spice, it was cute. We all thought it was novel. Oh, how fun. Pumpkin spice coffee and pumpkin spice donuts. But like everything else now, cute little ideas have to be turned into a cultural phenomenon and shoved down our throats, literally, until you want to take a crap on the idiot who first had the idea of putting pumpkin spice flavor in anything other than pumpkins and spice. So now, of course, you could literally survive on products that only taste like pumpkin spice. Here's what I'm talking about. Look at what the hell these marketing geniuses are destroying with pumpkin spice. Dunkin' Donuts is now making pumpkin spice goldfish. Okay, first of all, goldfish blow as a snack. It's like eating little pieces of crunchy cardboard. But now it has the pumpkin spice taste, so during the fall, you can eat little pieces of cardboard that taste like pumpkin spice. Why? Chobani now makes pumpkin spice yogurt. Give me yogurt with fruit. I don't want yogurt that contains something that gets smashed on someone's front stoop on Halloween or with shit in it that Columbus brought back from one of his boating adventures to the Far East. Oh, boy. Now we can have pumpkin spice jello. That's like making pumpkin spice bottled water. Fuck that in its dirty little neck. Tarani, an Italian company, is making pumpkin spice sauce. Is it sauce or is it gravy? It's baby shit in a diaper is what that is. Imagine having pasta with a pumpkin spice sauce on it. Thanks for destroying the Italian culture with one product. Now, Thomas is making pumpkin spice muffins. How about this, Thomas? Why don't you shove these muffins up your ass? Will you? Thomas's promises. Here's a good one. Pumpkin spice cotton candy. I guess this is for when you're at the county fair in the fall. How about make a pumpkin spice cotton pony? Don't get it? Google it. How about some pumpkin spice pretzels? Why would you ruin the classic taste of a pretzel with pumpkin spice? Who is buying pumpkin spice pretzels? Oh boy, pumpkin spice pancake and waffle mix. Put a little Tarani pumpkin spice sauce on it and wash it down with some pumpkin spice coffee and then go shit out a pumpkin with some spice on it. Okay, now this product is a sign that the end of the world is upon us. Pumpkin spice marshmallows. Once the last possible edible item on earth has pumpkin spice flavoring, that means it's sayonara for humanity. And the last item I can't bear to discuss is Mrs. Renfro's pumpkin salsa. So now some dope named Mrs. Renfro has decided to destroy the Latino culture by taking the classic and delicious salsa dip and fouling it by pissing in the well of pumpkin and spice. Honestly, folks, who the hell are all these people who love pumpkin spice so much that they can support all these products? What I just mentioned is only the tip of the pumpkin iceberg, okay? There are now hundreds of products with this shit injected into it. What's next? Pumpkin spice bicycle tires? Pumpkin spice laptops? Pumpkin spice grass seeds? Hey, once in a while, I do enjoy a cup of coffee with a hint of pumpkin spice, but enough is fucking enough. Stop it with the pumpkin spice everything already. It was cute. Now it's disturbing. Soon it will be a reason why crime is increasing. Hey, marketing geniuses and food product manufacturers, take your pumpkin spice and shove it up your pumpkin spice hole. <laughs>